Basement co 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 Collective. Hey guys, thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report. Uh, just to show you the table quickly before we get into it, we are using the Lava World Terrain uh, made by Greenleaf Terrain. Check them out. Send in an email. We'll give a link in. His, we'll g link him in the description below. Amazing table. Really happy with what it is. And uh, amazing prices. Adam's a great guy. Easy to work with. Easy to get along with. And he gives awesome prices. So. This is the Level World Terrain. Uh, just a quick look around the table here. Uh, just a quick, a quick rules about the tables. Uh, you can't obviously walk over the lava unless there's a bridge there, unless you fly. Skatari flies. Skatari does not fly. Yes, I am playing Big Clark over here, who's lazing on the couch. What's up? But yeah, so that's the table we're playing on. We'll be back with our armies. And here is my 1,500 points of Space Wolves. We'll go over it quickly there. I do have one squad of long fangs with four missile launchers and a last cannon. I got one two man squad twos, fifteen wolf squads of Fenrisian wolves. I can't call them fifteen man squads because I mean I guess they may be man. Fifteen wolf man. Fifteen wolf man. <laughs> so two fifty man I haven't I haven't used these before. I mean not this many wolves in the game, so it should be fun. One Vindicator does have a Storm Bolter on it, and I forgot to grab it, but Storm Bolter and Doja Blade on that. A six-man squad of Thunderwolves with a Wolfguard Battle Lead. The Wolfguard Battle Lead is armed with the Storm Shield and the Kraken Bone Sword. And in the Thunderwolf squad, we got one Thunder Hammer, one Power Fist, two Wolf Claws, and everybody else is using Storm Shields. Murder Fang in a Drop Pod. A five-man squad of Wolfguard with Combi... Meltas in a drop pod, and that would be my 1500 points of Space Wolves. I'm using the Champions of the Fenris Company of the Great Wolf Supplement Detachment. And Big Clark, what do we got? Uh, okay, so here we have Cult Mechanicus, Guitari, and an Allied Detachment of Tau. So we'll start with the Tau. It's a uh, 2006 out of production Ethril. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> submit your offers to the YouTube video. <laughs> um, then we have, you know, 12 Fire Warriors, just very standard. Uh, we have a unit of Kesslin Robot with the data or Techsmith. Um, both have Heavy Phosphor, uh, Heavy Phosphor, and the Twin Linked Heavy Phosphor Cannon. Uh, we have our Rangers here, which all have. Uh, the rad carbines with two arc rifles. Uh, we have two um, iron striders, both with auto cannons. Yep. Uh, we have the destroyers with the grab guns, of course, yep. and the cognus flamers. Uh, we got my boy Dominus here, just pimping it up on the rock. Uh, he's pretty standard. I took the Raymond for him just in case the Texmith bites the dust, but we should be good. Uh, we got the Vanguard here with, uh, or sorry. This one was the Vanguard, this one is the um, Rangers with two, I'm just going to call them two sniper rifles, I really can't, it's like Archer Burris rifles, uh, again, uh, everyone else has Brad Carbines. Uh, then here we have the Fulgrites, uh, who will go Super Saiyan if I hopefully wipe out one of your units, which I doubt because you're running the Horde. Uh, and then of course we have the Doomcrawler with, uh, I think it's the Phosphor Cannon and the, oops, and the um, Heavy Stubber. And that would be 1,500 points. That's two combined arms attached with one Skatari, one Cult Mechanics, and an allied detachment of Tau. So, we'll be back after deployment. And then after deployment, we got Fulgrites. And then we got the Dune Crawler. Kark did when to deploy first. Then we got Destroyers and... These are the, rang or these are the uh, Rangers. Rangers. No, the Omnis Omnisaya behind them. Omnisaya, sure. Um, and then... Actually, don't sorry. Is he off the table? No. He's still working. Uh, and then we got the two Iron Striders. Yep. Uh, the oh, Vanguard. Sorry. Yep. Castilians. Yep. With their Data Smith. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the Obligatory Tau. The obligatory oh, Tau with the 2006 OOP Ethereal. That's right. Okay, and for my deployment, I got Fenrisi oh. Wolves, Vindicator, Thunder Wolves with my Wolfguard Battle Leader, uh, my Long Fangs, and then another squad of Fenrisi Wolves over here. For my Warlord trait, I got the one where I get to reroll one failed save per turn, and you got the one where you get to reroll failed feel no pain saves. So, that is that. Uh, he is going first as it stands right now. I'm going to roll to seize the initiative, and I fail on a 5. So we'll be back at the end of uh, Katari turn 1. Actually, we have to see the objectives first. We are just playing the standard three objectives, so what three objectives do you got? Uh, so I got Harness the Warp, so I'm going to ditch that because yep. I can't score it. Grab a new one. I have Secure Objective 6. 
Secure objective six. Ascendancy. Ascendancy is the one where you have to have three of them, right? Uh, ascendancy, yeah. Score D3 if you control any three. Okay. And then Big Game Hunter. You have to kill a vehicle or monster's creature. I got one vehicle on the table right now. I've indicated. So, we'll be back at the end of Skitari turn one. And where is objective six? You place objective six. So, should be this? No, four, three, four. Six, I have it. Six is right here. Okay. Right. We'll be back at the end of Skitari turn one. Yeah. At the end of Skitari slash Admech slash Pow turn one, uh, a bunch of things happen. What two principles did you use over there? Okay, so I used the, for the Cult Mechanicus, I used the Canticles of Om Omnissiah, uh, Benediction, sorry, the Benediction of Om Omnis Omniscience. There we go. Uh, basically, rerolls failed to, uh, reroll failed to hit rolls of one or two. Yep. Um, and then for the uh, Doctrina Imperatives for the Skitari, yeah, I used the one that boosts their ballistic skill by two. Awesome. So that's what he used there. Uh, and so... Undrilled Symbiosis. Yes. Beta. Uh, he moved He moved up. These guys are here. What are these guys called in the middle? Uh, these guys are the Vanguard. Vanguard, so so what moved up? The Vanguard moved up? Yeah, Vanguard moved up. The Rangers moved up. The uh, Rangers moved up and ran to capture this objective so we can get Ascendancy. Yeah. Uh, these guys grabbed. Uh, those guys, yeah. Those guys stood still. Those guys stood still. The Sidonian dragoons stood still. Iron Striders. Iron Striders stood still. Those guys are still hiding over there. And your Dune Caller stood still. And the Tau guys moved up a bit. So shooting wise, the Tau, the Ethereal used his ability to give these guys two shots each. His stench. His stench. So he, they shot at the Fenrisi rolls right here. Managed to kill ton of him. Got a pretty good roll right there. Uh, the these guys right here, the big hero six robots, Castilians. and the arc rifles dudes are here, yep. and and that uh, dune crawler shot at my thunderwolves and managed to kill three of them. Yeah. His sorry. Oh no, I was gonna say never mind. Go on. The iron striders shot at I believe the oh long fangs and killed one long fang, yeah. and then the grav guys shot the grav guy destroyer shot at. Vindy. My Vindicator and immobilized it, and I just passed my other cover save against that. So dirty. So at the end of that turn, he has he scored two for ascendancy, and one for securing objective six. So he does have three points to my zero points, going into Space Wolves turn one. So I forgot about leadership here. So leadership nine there. Uh, that is leadership nine exactly. Just so we're it. good. That was sucking that right off. And these guys are leadership six or four or something like that. So they're not leadership nine, I can tell you that much. So they fall off the table three die six. Ooh, first blood. So you will get first blood. Yeah, that's ten inches, so that is first blood. So it is four points to no points going into Space Wolves turn one. And Space Wolves turn one objectives, domination. Uh, we won't be getting that. Secure objective five. Where is number five? Five's right back here. Five is right here. There's five. Come on in. And secure object two secure objective fives. Oh, yes. So I'll need to be do something with that. So we'll be back at the end of Space Wolves turn one. End of Space Wolves turn one. Pretty good turn. Uh, my, first of all, Murder Fang dropped down because I got two secure objective fives and it was right there and Murder Fang was my best way to get it. So I had to sacrifice Murder Fang, put him in this death reach of everything else. To get objective five, but I did have two secure objective five, so I got me two points. Other than that, my these guys move and ran up. Uh, this guy didn't do anything well. He couldn't move; he's immobilized. But he managed to shoot at the dudes that are right here. Their rangers right there. Yeah, the rangers that are on that rock, and I managed to kill a few of them. My thunderwolves did finish them off in combat. Over here, uh, Murder Fang then flamed on these guys. Managed to kill five of them, and then the Jaw Pod and the Stormbolt that did shoot some more at him. Managed to kill a few more. Other than that, these guys over here shot at the Tau because they could see some Tau peeking over there. So they managed to kill only three Fire Warriors. I snapshot my other shot, my other guy into the squad right here and managed to kill one of those. Other than that, that's all I did, really did for my turn. So at the end of turn Space Wolves one. turn one, I have two points to Clark's four points. We'll see how it goes in the next turn at the end of Skitari turn two. So Clark's objective, he already had big game hunting, he has to kill a vehicle. I forgot to mention, my drop pod did immobilize himself on the way down, so he only has one hull point left. And I did fail a uh, the dangerous train test on that wolf right there, so he has a lost a wound there. But So Clark's turn, he has behind enemy lines he drew, very hard for him to get, and as well as hungry for glory as he was challenge. 
He has two characters, and uh, those characters don't really issue challenges. So we'll be back at the end of Skatari turn two. End of Skatari turn two. Uh, what uh, doctrine or whatever you call the, the GUs? Uh, so for the machines, the cult, I use Invocation of Machine Might, which gives uh, everything two to their strength, which didn't play out as I expected due mm -hmm. to close combat shenanigans. Uh, and then plus a skill three, uh, plus three on the uh, Skitari. Skitari, sweet. Okay, so other than that, uh, the, these guys back here just stood there because he realized that he put him in a bad spot and he'd be congo lining out of the terrain right here. And by doing that, he would be charging through terrain, which give him a minus two movement and last initiative. So he decided not to move those, which would also make me very hard to charge with those wolves at him, though, for the same reasoning. Uh, but we go over here. Uh, this, the dune crawler, and the dune crawler, these guys, and those guys, and the Tau, all shot at my Thunderwolf squad. Managed to do a good number to him. I have one wood left on my lord. And one wound left on the, this is the wolf clock guy. So I got two wounds left on my Thunderwolf squad. Other than that, the Dragoon and the Dominus guy. Iron Striders. The, the Iron Strider and the Dominus guy shot at my Murder Fang and managed to fill him. That Iron Strider shot at my draw point with one. Hull point left, managed, didn't do anything other than that. Other than that, that's all he really did. Points wise, he scored Big Game Hunter. He's tossing Hungry for Glory, and he's keeping behind enemy lines. So we're going to Space Wolves turn two. What was that? Space Wolves turn two, I did toss uh, Domination, because evidently I'm not going to score that. So I got a Skip Cure Objective 1, which is right here by my long face. Convenient. Ascendancy, which is Control Any 3. So I may, may be able to do that, but I have to give up on killing things. And Assassinate, kill a character. So we'll be back at the end of Space Wolves turn two. So at the end of Space Wolves turn two, uh, first of all, my drop pod came in, landed on my murder fang, and the thing just embarked there. So his dominus was there, but we'll get into that. Moonwood phase, uh, my lord broke off and ran up to the dudes that were right there. T stayed put, uh, because my cards, and remember, I did have ascendancy, which is score, have three objectives, assassinate, kill enemy character, and secure objective one, which are automatically had. So other than that, these guys, Sh the three missiles shot at the Tau guys, managed to kill a good eight of them, and they passed with leadership. My la one last cannon shot, sniped out because there's a little space you can see his um, Dominus guy over there. Let's have the, the viewers rule on that one, because I'm calling BS, he's calling out BS. He says, you, we, we went he says this last cannon, so first of all he says this drop pod lands on Murder Fang, okay. That's allowed because Murder Fang's turning. And then he's saying that this last cannon can see through this little crack and just instant okay. him. Like, it was it wasn't like, a lot like, bigger crack until that fell over. It was like maybe. Like, yes. I don't even know. My, I, we, you even checked and you said it was good. No, I said it was good to move the game. Okay. I still. You're said such a lying. I said I want a ruling. Okay, one from, second here. From the people. So here's he is. That's I just don't believe that you can do that. I don't. And how you can hold a drop pod to hold up another. Yeah. Drop I can pod? see you face. I can see right through. There's a crack right there. But I thought the model had to be flush on the table. Well, how can a drop pod hold up another drop pod? That's just the way it landed. I don't know. Let's let the viewers. Okay, if I did that wrong, I did that wrong. It wouldn't have changed anything. I just would have landed in front it of it. Because my warlord would have been alive. You, right now. I would have still sniped you out with this one guy and still and killed your warlord. Because no, he would have been behind your drop pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The melted yeah, but would have had okay. To we also need to remember the drop pod's doors are Make all sure open. This is in the video. <laughs> it is in the video. Sure we also have to remember the drop pod's doors are open and you can see through a drop pod. I agree that the drop pods doors then open. Then I would be able to see you regardless. But don't they have to be open? No, you they have don't. know where to open them. No, but they still count as you'd be able to see through it. They don't have to be open. This seems like a lot of heresy and rules that just conveniently Anyways, show up. Anyways, my last cannon sniped out his dude, into death his, his warlord. He's salty about it, but it's okay. And then, so I did min I did drop out my wolf guard over here just so they could kill the warlord because they had melted guns. But they didn't need to because that guy, so they killed one of his dragoons. Uh, and it, and the drag exploded the dragoon and which turned killed two of my wolf guard. These two still haven't fired the combi weapons. Other than that, these guys, wo these these wolves moved up in charge. He did his w super wall of death as Cognis, but rolled pretty crappily on that. Only managed to kill three in close combat. My wolf lord charged the three remaining vanguard, vanguard, and killed them. Uh, other than that, that's all I did on my turn. So on my turn, I did score ascendancy and I did score assassinate, 
and I did score secure objective one. And slay so, the warlord. And slay the warlord. So that puts me two. Big asterisk beside that one. Three, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> and then ascendancy is D three. Where did my dice go? Right there. Ascendancy is D three. Uh, three. So that puts me at four, five, eight points to Clark's five. Going into turn four. No, three. That was only turn two. Yeah, because you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, because you. That was just turn two. Yeah, so yeah. So going into Clark's turn. Three. And Clark's objective cards he has domination, hold the line, and behind enemy lines. I'm kind of stuck myself. So at the end of Skitari turn three, what things did you use, Clark? Uh, my doctrines. And yes. My doctrina imperative. I used uh, hazard optimization gamma. So all uh, ballistic skill was increased by one. Yeah. For the mechanicus. And then the Skatari one is chant of the remorseless fist. Uh, <laughs> so they all rerolled <laughs> to hit rolls of one or two in close combat. Nice. Okay. I don't believe I did actually. Well, yeah. That's okay. Shooting. Uh, these guys deleted my wolf lord. The Sejourni, the that guy, the Iron Strider, English, English. killed my other Thunderwolf. Then the Fire Warriors and the Dune Crawler shot up my Wolf Guard, killed everybody but one. And in combat, my Fenrisi rolls managed to finish the last guy and then consolidated shaky five camera, inches. Though. Shaky camera. So other than that, Clark got one point for Slay the Warlord. So that puts us at uh, six to eight for me. Going into Space Marines turn three. Uh, Clark, are you keeping all your cards or are you going to toss one? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to toss one. I don't know which one yet. Domination, probably? Yeah, domination, domination would be the best one. <laughs> okay, oh, so on we'll just draw my cards now quickly uh, for my cards turn. Psychological Warfare, make you fail a leadership test. Secure Objective 2, which is right here. Move that Vindicator up. I can't mobilize. And Kingslayer, which I automatically get. End of Space Wolves turn three. What happened? Uh, my wolves just ran over here to get objective two. My Vindicator shot over here and managed to kill three of those. Other than that, these guys shot at the Castle and Robots. Did two wounds to one of those. Uh, who shot at? Oh, my two Drop Pods shot at the Fire Warriors. Killed the remaining two over there. My one Wolf Guard left over there. Shot at the Sig uses Melta. I killed the Iron Strider, so pretty good turn for me, I'd say, killing things. Other than that, uh, the turn ended, I did score King Slayer, because I automatically get that, so I get D3. one point for that. And I score Objective 2, and I he didn't fail the leadership test, so I'm going to toss Psychological Warfare. That puts the points 8, 9, 10 to 6, going to Clark's turn 4. Clark got, has behind enemy lines, hold the line, and secure Objective 4, which is right there. So, that's what he has. End of Mechanicus turn four. The robot shot at my long things, deleted them. The This guy, Dune Crawler, shot at my Fenrisi Wolves and nice. killed two of them. These guys move and ran, and his ethereal's hiding in this piece of terrain so that I can't see it. And he, your objective points wise, did you score anything? Mm -mm. No, so are you keeping him? Are you gonna toss? Uh, I, fuck, I guess I'm keeping, where's four? You're right up on four, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's three of your scoring units. I'm tossing hold the line because I can't get you, that. You have to kill the two drop pods to get hold yeah, the line. Yeah, but I, I need three units and I only have two here. Okay, toss and hold the line? No problem at all. So we'll go through my cards quickly. I get three cards. I got okay. big game hunting. Kill a vehicle, hold the line. Wow, I can't get that either. And secure objective six. Where is Numero six? This is five. Oh, six is all the way over there. I am not getting six. So we'll be back at the end of my turn four. So at the end of my turn four, at the end of this turn, I shot here my Vindicator into his dudes and managed to kill one. Other than that, my drop pods and my one wolf guard left over there shot at his Castellans, did one wound to the Castellan. 
I charged with my wolves because I wanted to attack first. I should have killed a bunch, but I rolled really crappily and he rolled really good. So uh, he just wiped me out because he cut me down. So that's at that. And Clark, do you score any points your turn? No. <laughs> no. So oh, this is my turn. This is my turn. Uh, oh yeah. My apologies. My turn. I did not. I did not score any points. So I'm going to toss. Uh, might as well toss secure objective six because I'm not going to be getting that ever anytime soon. And we'll go. So the points are still ten to six. We'll be. We'll see. Uh, sorry. We'll draw your cards right now. I'll draw your extra card right now. You got secure objective four. You got hold. Overwhelming firepower. Overwhelming firepower. Five, you have to kill something in the shooting phase. That marine's got to go. Got to go. So we'll be back at the end of Skitari turn five. Okay, so end of Clark's turn five. Uh, what what uh, abilities did you use? Uh, so... Uh, they didn't even matter. Yeah, basically shot at your lone marine here. Yeah, but what a thing did you use right here? Oh, uh... Plus one weapon skill. Yeah, plus, plus one weapon skill. And... Pass all tests. Yeah, pass all tests. So fail, nice. roll, fear, okay. So the Dune Crawler shot at my last wolf guard over there, killed it. The Castellan squad and the Data Smith managed to do, sh shoot at my full drop out right there. The Castlins only did one wound, and then the Dad Dadison shot his armor bane weapon and blew it up, so that's good for him. Uh, and then these guys moved up and attempted an 11 inch charge or a 10 inch charge on my Vindicator and failed. So at the end of turn 5, that's what happened there. You score any points your turn? Mm, one. I got uh, overwhelming firepower. Overwhelming firepower, awesome. So put it at 7 to 10 going into Space Wolves' well, let's turn. Just do this on camera here. Space Wolves turn five. Yeah, so my turn, I only have one thing to do because actually here, my drop out of my drop out of shoot at your castlings. Two hits. Of course. No wounds. And I'll shoot over here, template it over here. So it's completely over base. Yeah, it, it is. It's over base. <laughs> Fuck, it's gonna wipe the unit out. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> you Ooh, need these guys. I need a fucking 12 inch scatter here. Pardon my language. You got no cover as well. Just let you know. I <laughs> Yes! Ah, yes! Five inches. Five inches. So let me get a measuring tape here. One, but that might be the one I need. Ah, no. How many? Is it? One. Ah. One? Okay, so two plus. Uh, he is shouted, so he has a six up save. Well, that was last turn. No, it's his turn. This, oh, yeah, no, that was last turn. That was last turn. Last turn. Okay, so I uh, kill one. So that's the end of my turn. Uh, Clark, let Clark roll the so dice. So I have nothing. So. Clark, I okay, I will, roll the, I will roll the dice at the end of the game. Ooh, yeah, it ended. Oh, it ended? Over. Yeah. It's a one. Good game, good, good game. game. We'll be back with a post-game show. We got an arm in that shot, this one. Alright, it's up. recording right now. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report. My name's yeah, Irvin, so and this is it Clark. It Clark, and yeah, so that was a quick close game. Skitari, Admech, and well, just basically Admech yeah. and Tau The Tau was only there to fill in my... Yeah. I have more models coming in today that I missed FedEx on, so I'll have more models for the next one. Hopefully yep. primed at least. Primed at least. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so that was a fun game. What did you think of the game? Oh, I was pretty good, actually. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about the poll later, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a bit salty about one move, which really wouldn't have changed anything in the game it at all. Because my Dominus has so many weapons and so much haywire, I could have taken out both yeah, but those no, I would have, pods. But my Dominus, Dominus charge, boom, 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 dead one. Yeah, turn. but that attack wouldn't have changed anything because I still would have shot at it. If that drop pod wasn't there, I would have definitely had line of sight on it. But the drop pod was there. But the drop pod, and I still had line of sight. We put the camera through just the end. Just, just, just simmer okay. down. Just simmer down. Friendly banter. Yeah. He's a loser. He sore loser. Number one. No, Number one sore loser. <laughs> Number one loser NA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was a fun game. Uh I like how they play. It's only my second game with them. And uh I would say first real competitive ish game where the person oh. actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> the first game I played I just grabbed everything down on the newbies game. But uh, no, this one gave me a better idea of what they could do, mm -hmm. uh, how better to utilize the candles, even though I forget them sometimes. Those foot guys, I'm not sure if I would take those again. Uh, the, like the close combat ones? Actually, maybe. They, they would have done better if they actually got a charge. You're placing them behind the rock where you could yeah, move well, out so, on the other side. So let's just talk about that for a second. So the reason I did that was because I was... A, so I don't play a lot of close combat armies. Actually, I don't play any. I play mids, which I always play shooty. Uh, I play Tau, which is obviously <laughs> shooty. <laughs> and now I'm playing Sitari, which I'm kind of going to a more shooty right. route. I got the full grades because I wanted to try close combat. Mm -hmm. And in the past I've played where someone had conga line their characters and then they basically piled in and that's how they said that they 
you know, do close combat. And I took him at face value because I don't. Well, I'm still relatively new. Yeah, yeah, to violated, the, he yeah, he played sure. a game where he had a long line of guys, and they said, "Well, I got my three-inch pile in," and then he just like piled them all in. And yeah, they were still far apart. Nobody was playing with said he could attack still, which is you can only attack if you're within two inches of somebody that's face to face. Mm -hmm. With a model, yeah, and I was under or, the impression. I think that's the rule. Yes, yeah. something like that. But regardless, that's what I was under the impression that that's how you could do it. And as long as you get one in the charge, and then mm -hmm. one in combat, they all come into combat. That's how I understood yeah. the combat works. Um, because usually it's people taking me into combat, so <laughs> I don't really know the rules for that. Mm -hmm. But you know, you live and learn. Um, I think that they were good as soon as they got their their super saiyan here. Mm -hmm. I was ready to fix fixing the take down that vindicator. Hopefully, yeah. Um, but besides that, I'm probably gonna try them again. Uh, I wouldn't mind, we discussed this before, I wouldn't mind getting a uh, Green Knight Librarian and get a squad of 20 of them and just teleport them yeah. in and just, you know, teleport them into like a nice small Gates unit infinity, yeah. because you only need to kill one single unit. So even if it's one model, you got 20 guys attacking one model, there yeah. goes the unit, boom, all of a sudden you got three up in balls and exactly. all this fun stuff. Pretty good do. stuff. So I but want yeah. drop pods. This is my, that was my, that was my, actually, my second game is Skintari. Skintari. Uh, it's my first game against Admex Guitar, so it's pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. I, I didn't use my typical space old list. The, the two squads of 15th, 15th yeah. and Fenris and Wolves, I mean, they probably did the most work out of everything there, yeah. so. They were cool. Though. I've never seen them fielded, so it was yeah. pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, anything else? No, no, it, it's good. Uh, yeah, we want to go get sushi, yeah, so we sushi. need to hurry up. Yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report. Uh, we do have that narrative campaign going right now, so make sure you check out that video uh, and vote for it and keep an eye on that. And uh, the giveaway, yep. uh, 2000, we're giving away a Night Warden, so that'll be fun. But anyways, my name's Irvin, this is Clark, keep on wargaming.